As soon as the news broke of the Queen's passing, speculation began about what titles, if any, Charles would bestow upon his grandchildren when he became king. Under long-standing royal tradition, Charles would be within his rights as sovereign to confer the titles of prince and princess upon Archie and Lilibet. But in the weeks that followed the Queen's death, Charles remained publicly noncommittal on the matter, and now it seems his decision has finally been revealed, and it is not the one Harry and Meghan were hoping for. According to palace sources, Charles sat down with Harry for a private meeting a few days ago to discuss the future roles and duties of the Sussexes within the royal family moving forward. But the talks quickly turned heated as Charles firmly told Harry that neither Archie nor Lilibet would be receiving prince or princess titles, and they would not use the courtesy titles of HRH. This was said to be the final straw for Harry, who exploded at his father in anger over the denial of titles for his children. A source told me, the meeting started reasonably well, but soon descended into a fierce and bitter argument. Harry could not believe what he was hearing from his father. He shouted that it was his and Meghan's God-given right to have titles for their children, and that Charles had no right to deny them. Charles remained firm, saying as king, he was within his rights to decide who can use royal titles and HRH prefixes. Harry got more and more incensed, shouting that this was racism against Meghan and the children, and that Charles had turned into the stereotypical snobby, entitled royal. According to my sources, Harry began to furiously insult Charles, even questioning his capability as king and whether he was fit to rule. At one point, he even allegedly made comments about Charles's character and parenting that brought up deeply private family matters. This sent Charles into a rage, and he screamed back at Harry that he had thrown away his royal duties, so he was no longer entitled to any royal privileges or courtesies. Things escalated fully out of control from there with both father and son shouting and swearing at each other. At the height of the argument, Charles is said to have told Harry that he and Meghan had chosen their path and they had to live with the consequences, including not having royal titles for Archie and Lilibet. With that, the furious king stormed out of the room, the meeting ending in an absolute monarchy between the two. The news has sent shockwaves through the palace as this represents the biggest public falling out yet between Charles and Harry. Sources say there is now deep resentment between the two and any path towards reconciliation seems extremely difficult. Harry was left fuming and immediately called Meghan to fill her in on what happened. The couple are said to now feel they have no choice but to cut official ties with the royal family. Royal experts are also questioning whether Harry will be cut out of Charles's coronation plans in the wake of this spectacular row. Some aides had hoped Harry may perform a minor role in some events or attend with Meghan, in a potential partial healing of their rift. But after this monumental fight with his father, one that publicly called his suitability as king into question, Harry now facing the very real possibility of being excluded from the coronation altogether. Things are said to be equally frosty between Harry and his brother William in the aftermath too. While William did not witness the showdown himself, he has been fully briefed on what transpired and sources say he is completely understanding and supportive of his father's decision to deny Archie and Lilibet titles. The divide with his once close brother is deeper than ever it seems. So in summary, this was a row of truly seismic proportions that may cement the broken relationship between Charles and Harry for the long term. And it essentially comes down to titles for Harry's children as the flashpoint. While Harry and Meghan likely felt they were campaigning for the rights of their kids, Charles saw it as yet another public slamming of the institution he now heads as king. Two diametrically opposed viewpoints led to the unbridled fury and insults that my sources claim were exchanged. It's clear the royals are still reeling from the bitter fallout. But what happens next is really anyone's guess at this point. Will Harry further speak out publicly about this row to narrate his side of events? Could Meghan reignite her interviews as a response? Would Charles consider formally amending Archie and Lilibet's titles through letters patent to firm up his denial? One thing is for certain. This bitter title row between the King and Duke of Sussex has left very deep wounds that may never fully heal. The schism in the royal family is wider than ever and seems cemented for the years to come. Only time will tell how this dramatic story unfolds, but for now, 
It seems the once unbreakable bonds between father, son, and brothers have truly broken beyond repair in the most fiery of public explosions. Please share your thoughts on what you think will happen next between the Sussexes and the royal family after this reported fallout. Also, let me know your opinion on Charles's decision to deny titles for Archie and Lilibet. Is he well within his rights as king, or does this smack of petty retaliation against Harry? We'd love to hear your take on this major development. Thanks again for tuning in to The Royal Report, where we aim to bring you the latest scoops and insights from inside the House of Windsor. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss an explosive breaking story. Until next time.